Okay. okay. Good night. This gentleman is taking me somewhere. I have no idea. He just said, come with me. Okay. Yeah, 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 what's up? So take a look at this behind me here. Does this look like we're in the middle of one of Asia's biggest mega cities? It's hard to believe that right now I'm in the middle of Bangkok. So Bangkok has rivers and canals that run all through the city and off these rivers and canals you'll find these little communities. A lot of them, they're living on land that they don't actually have the rights to. But every time I go into these areas, I just have the most amazing experiences. I meet the most lovely people. I'm really excited to check this one out. So we're just off Petrobury Road at the moment. Let's go do some exploring. It's just so crazy to me how this looks visually. So, I mean, right now it looks like we're out in the countryside somewhere. <laughs> it does not look like we're in the, look, this is one of Bangkok's busiest roads behind me here. We're nestled amongst all these high rises. You've just got this big open land. Super fascinating. So if you remember, I visited the railway community about two weeks ago. There was just off Soy One, and that actually finishes just behind me up here. I didn't realize because I didn't walk all the way up to the end, but it actually continues again on the other side of this road. So this is Petrobury Road behind me. Very busy road here in Bangkok, but on the other side of me here, a whole other community starts. So I'm just gonna take a walk in and see where we end up. No, no. <laughs> So I'm about three seconds into here and I already just met some lovely people that are just, you know, like these places, they're visually intimidating. It's a little bit scary to walk in and you've got people sitting either sides of like a little narrow walkway that you walk through and you don't want to be disrespectful to come into places like this either. But all the people are so lovely, you know, as soon as I walked in, they just smile. I said, hello, do you love Thailand? I said, I love Thailand. And they said, yeah, have a great day. It's just these experiences that make it for me. I can't believe it happened so quickly. This is awesome. One thing you see in a lot of these areas just makeshift housing basically. People just make houses out of whatever they can find. This one's actually empty, so we're gonna be able to go inside and have a look, but you can just see, you know, got bits of tin here, bits of wood, just random bits of wood too. So it's just whatever they could find to make this house, they've been able to make it. Let's go in. place is interesting but it's literally falling apart you can see the ground below me here there's gaps everywhere holes in the can you see that hole there I just went to walk over here and it's just crazy to think this was someone's home you know there's sort of gaps in the in the walls everywhere this place is literally falling apart but you know very harsh living conditions obviously when people live here they've got things you know got furniture and beds and stuff from the other ones that I've seen as I walk past. I guess people have moved out of this one because it's all falling apart. The wood on the floor is all rotting. So they've probably moved into another one around here somewhere. just come up to the train tracks now this is the neighborhood that I want to check out down behind me here I just need to find a way in because I can't really see any uh, any pathways in at the moment so I'll just walk along the tracks until I can find something <laughs> cool thing is everywhere you come the kids come out and they always speak a little bit of English and they're really like friendly and playful so the kid told me to go down here so we'll go check this out So you can see these houses where we are right now. They're just above the river, so they're all sitting on stilts. We're basically on top of the river, or one of the rivers through here right now. 
and it seems like they don't all link up so it's just little sort of avenues that come down off the railway line so I'll walk up and along and we'll come down the next one and check out more dog was freaking me out. I think the dog was more scared of me, but I was a little worried. So this lovely lady helped chase it out for me. Adam, yes, Adam. Oh, Adam. Oh, I'm Adam. Uh, Adam, Adam, to the corner to fire. <laughs> What I love about places like this the kids just all come out they heard me like talking to that guy and the kid and then like just more and more kids just started popping out they wanted to have a chat <laughs> they're lovely you can come <laughs> Dogs always freak me out when I come to places like this. These kids are so funny, the little one's like, hey you, come here. So I followed him and now they've showed me a real little like, playground area here. <laughs> There's big kids running a mark. <laughs> kids warned me, they said, if you go this way, be careful, there's a dog down here. He just said, careful, woof woof. So, gotta keep an eye out for a dog. So it's really interesting to look at these houses like you see the one behind me here. So this is sitting entirely above the river and it's just on wooden stilts. And it's surprising how few stilts there are to keep the whole house supported. I would have thought you'd need a lot more or they'd be a lot bigger. These are just sort of blocks of wood about this size. And there's really not that many holding this whole place up. I imagine some of them sort of slowly move over time because you see some of the houses that look like they're on a bit of an angle or they're sinking down in different ways. But man, there's harsh living conditions here. So I guess something I really didn't expect to see here is that they've got, it looks like a school or a childcare center. There's a little playground just behind me here that the kids can play in. I just saw a couple of kids getting picked up from, from whatever it was, school, I guess. But this is one of the many surprises you find in places like this. You know, you take it all at face value for what you see, for the condition of the houses and everything, but it's not necessarily how the community actually is.
So while the living conditions do seem really harsh here, they still do have access to things that you would need day to day. So there's a little water water machine behind me here. You get 1.5 liters of water for just one bar from one of these. Got coin operator washing machines here. This little area behind me here, the lady was just telling me, is an area for anyone that has a motorbike that you need things. So they've got some spare oil and things like that. So they all just sort of help each other out. If someone uses a bit of oil, they'll leave the bottle there for other people to use as well. There's also paints, and tools and hardware items down here as well. And it's all just for people in this community to share. So maybe inclined to think that everyone that lives here is really poor or they don't have any money or anything like that but that's actually not the case you can see right now i mean one of there's a few little sort of parking spots for people to park with their motorbikes and there's decent motorbikes here you know these cost people a lot of money to buy i can see a lot of people coming through here they're in work uniforms they've just finished work the kids coming home from school so while the living conditions may seem quite harsh it doesn't necessarily mean these people have no money Okay, that's the second person I've seen walk past me with these cheesy french fry looking things. I need to find where they're getting these from because they look amazing. Wow, I did not expect this. This guy just came up to me and he's like, come with me, come with me. And he's taking me to like a little farm. There's pigs, roosters. Oh my God, check out the size of this pig. <laughs> they are huge. <laughs> this is what I love most about coming on these walks. You just end up and there was random situations. I did not expect to see pigs in the middle of the city in Bangkok today. <laughs> Alright, so I've just found, I think, a toolbox to sit on. So check out these cheesy fries. I've got some more cheese sauce with it. I saw a little girl walk past me with fries and I was like, oh god, I want fries now. And then once the second person walked past, I had to have them. So luckily I was able to find the lady selling them. 30 baht. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Yum. Good healthy lunch today. <laughs> oh man, that was an awesome little thing to eat there. I don't even know what to expect next, so let's just keep walking. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> so this is one of the areas they breed roosters for, for the cockfighting. They actually take really good care of them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they just bit him. So I actually saw this in the last community that I visited as well, but I wasn't sure if cockfighting was legal or not. So I didn't want to talk about what they were actually doing. I just said, oh, they're breeding roosters here. But I've just found out cockfighting is not illegal here in Thailand. You're allowed to host cockfighting events. It's the gambling that goes on with it that's illegal. gentleman is taking me somewhere I have no idea he just said come with me okay I now have come right into the middle I wasn't sure how to get in here. This is where I wanted to come before. This gentleman is just like, come with me. And when we walked past some people back there, there was like, they looked at him weird. And he just said, ah, oh, this is my friend. Home. Hi. Oh, your home. Yes. Very nice home. Yes. My friend, hi. 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 Hi.
นี่โฮมโฮมมาเลยโฮมอยู่Some of the living conditions are really harsh, and some of the houses are really run down. This gentleman just showed me this house behind me here. This is where he lives. This is a two-story house. It's quite nice inside. He showed me inside. There's people in there, so I didn't want to film. But he had a big TV, good furniture. It's just very, very diverse in here. It's very interesting. Me too. Lovely people here. So it's interesting. I've visited many of these communities, and while they're all quite different in many ways, one thing that's the same everywhere is the people are all so lovely. They're so friendly. Everyone smiles. They say hello. How are you, Cap? Everyone's so friendly. It's amazing. I've just come back up to the railway tracks, and I've realized there's an entire other section of this area. It sort of starts again and just keeps going down here. So I'm going to come back and do another visit here because I enjoy coming to these places so much. I'll do like a, a video series on these. I want to explore all these neighborhoods. I love them so much. So a lot of these places, they look like houses or whatever, but they're actually sort of shops as well. So this one just behind me here, there's a motorcycle mechanic. There's a few, there's a guy in there, and he's working on a few different bikes. This behind me here looks like they've got animals, like a pet store, selling some gardening things as well. And then down here, there's a hair salon as well. Man, what an experience! Honestly, I love coming to places like this. I never know what to expect, and it's always so rewarding. So the thing is, when you come to places like this, it's it's visually intimidating to walk in. You know, you walk past people and they look scary. You don't know if you should be here. You don't know if you're invading on people's privacy by coming here. And especially when I walk around with a camera, I don't want to appear disrespectful for filming people's homes and things like that. But Every single person. It just blows me away how friendly every single person is. You know, people invite me into their homes. A, a man invited me into his home just before. He's like, "Come look at my home." And his, you know, his wife and his daughter were in there just sitting on the floor eating. I didn't want to film them, but just the experience that he wanted to show me that was just so lovely. Like he had no reason to. He just saw me and he's like, "Hey, come look at this." Um, and and I loved it. You know, this is why I come to places like this. So if you're in Bangkok, come to places like this. Walk through these neighborhoods. See these communities. You just see the way everyone interacts with each other. Everyone knows each other, and it's a really nice place. It looks scary. It really does, especially if you think by Western standards. If you went into a place like this in the U.S. or in Australia or whatever, you might land yourself in trouble. But I've had no bad experiences. Every single person is just nothing but friendly to me. All right, well, I'm going to wrap the video up here. If you enjoyed, let me know. I want to do more of these because I really enjoy doing it. I saw two other. Neighborhoods that are just near here that I'd like to walk through and do some exploring. So, so if you do want to see more, leave me a comment below, and I'll make sure to come back. So anyway, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.